With the recent passing of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the Senate is looking for the President to nominate a new Supreme Court Justice. This would be the normal process, except that we are now less than two months away from the presidential election. Supreme Court Justices have lifetime appointments. Not only will this affect your generation, but it will also have consequences for my generation and generations to come. As a woman and a member of the LGBTQ community, I want to make sure my voice is heard and taken seriously. The electorate for this upcoming election is more representative of my generation and viewpoints than the electorate of four years ago that elected the current president. The president elected this year should nominate the candidate for the open seat on the Supreme Court. There was a precedent set by the Senate four years ago when President Obama's nominee to replace Antonin Scalia was deemed null and void by Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell due to it being an election year. He wanted to let the people decide and that this decision is about a, quote, principle, not a person, end quote. The decision made by the Senate leaders four years ago is very different from how they are handling the same situation this election year. Since it is so close to the presidential election, the Supreme Court justice should reflect the current electorate rather than the electorate from four years ago when President Trump was put in office. The future president may or may not be the person we have in office right now. However, it is more important than ever that the next Supreme Court justice has the influence of the current electorate. The voice of every American should be heard in this election, and after all, it is your right as a citizen of this country. Before you vote, you should educate yourself about events like this so the voters can give the most accurate representation of the ideals of our country. As a person who cannot vote myself, I urge everyone to know the candidates for this presidential election and their ideals on a deep level before voting.